Hi, uh, good morning. This is going to be my third episode in my, uh, as I have titled it, the Team Review series. Um, I'm going to be looking over the Chengdu Hunters team today, which I'm honestly really excited for, mostly because um, I have watched more Chinese contenders than I have any other um, Tier 2 scene. Mostly because, uh, I don't know, I found it interesting, plus a lot of, like, they play a whole lot of Dive, and, uh, Genji, Echo, Sombra, Tracer, Winston, Diva, Vol, all these heroes that are very, very fun to watch. Um, but to begin to talk about the team, uh, during the off-season, they dropped a few players, uh, Bacon Jack retired early, earlier on in the, uh, off-season. The Chengdu Hunters made, uh, a new academy team from Flag Gaming, I believe, uh, that they rebranded into Team Chaser, which is pretty awesome. Um, they retired, I guess, Langsa, Kyo, Yveltal, and Late Young to the roster on Team Chaser. Late Young and Yveltal on a two-way contract, of course. Um, but that leaves some holes in this roster, so let's start to talk about them. So, first off with the tanks. Amang, Light Young, and Elsa are the only tanks that they have. There are rumors of them top picking up Gaga from uh, Chinese contenders, which would be amazing, honestly, because I think Gaga is really, really good and f fills the holes that Amang um, doesn't, I guess. Um, but I think Amang is one of those players that, like, you can't drop him from Chengdu because he makes Chengdu Chengdu. Um, but when you talk about Light Young and Elsa, neither of these off tanks are super um, impressive. None of them look very good, none of them are flashy. Um, I think it's okay to have Light Young on a two-way contract, but I would have dropped one of these players, put the other on a two-way contract, and then signed someone like I like Li Gei from Chinese Contenders before he was picked up by Hangzhou. Um, that would have been the like the perfect situation. You have Gaga, Li Gei, uh, and then Amang. But uh, I think Elsa will be okay, I guess, like average, below average in the um, in the Overwatch League. But with the rest of the moves that this team is making, this team could still be very good. So talking about the support line. Uh, Yveltal, who was put on a two-way contract. You also have, uh, Molly, and that's it. So, uh, Molly's an interesting one. There's rumors of him, uh, being signed to other teams, the Shanghai Dragons. Um, I don't know how much I believe that, because I think, um, I assumed that both of these players would stay on the roster just because they both performed pretty good throughout the the, um, the last season. But uh, I think Yveltal being on two ways good if they're picking up a new uh, main support from Chinese contenders. Uh, Molly, I think, is pretty good and should stay starting on this roster. Um, I think the support line is not amazing but we'll be fine for what they want. And uh, to look at the DPS line, that's where things get a little little crazy. So, um, you have uh, Leave Jinmu from last year with the new recent signings of Jimmy and Kaneki, which uh, Jinmu and Kaneki have a similar flex DPS hero pool, so I wonder if that means that Jinmu, Jinmu has been... Um, traded to another team. Uh, I hope not, because I think Jinmu has really found a place on Chengdu, and kind of is one of those players that uh, helps make Chengdu the team that they are. Uh, but I also think that Jimmy and Kaneki coming into the lineup is really, really good. Jimmy especially. Um, this team, after dropping Bacon Jack, needed to pick up a new hitscan who's able to play those, um, the long-ranged, uh, hitscan, Widow, Ash, um, mainly. Uh, but Jimmy's has performed really, really well in Chinese Contenders. He's done great stuff. Uh, Kaneki is a little bit more unknown, but is also, I think, 
pretty good and could definitely um, improve over the regular season. So uh, when it comes down to this team, I think um, if they make some more signings, which I expect them to make, mostly in like signing Gaga, potentially signing a new off support with the leaks of um, 1987 from uh, Chinese contenders as well, I think that would be a great pickup. As well as a new main support because um, they do not have one right now. I think if they pick up like a promising new main support from Chinese contenders, pick up 1987 and keep Molly, and then you have Gaga on this roster and potentially signing another off tank, then this could be a very, very strong and popular roster. Now, um, talking about the coaching staff, you have uh, RUI, Creed, and Yauxi. I think that's how you say his name. And all of these guys, I think, are great. Um, RUI, of course, had to take a break. I think it was um, earlier this season because of um, personal issues. But he's a great head coach. I think he's going to continue to do great things. And he helps build Chengdu into the team that we all know and love. Um, Creed and Yaoxi. Creed comes from uh, Guangzhou. Yaoxi comes from Contenders. And uh, I think both of these coaches will make good improvements to the Chengdu Hunters, and I also think that, like, this is the best coaching staff that Chengdu has ever had. So, hopefully that means something to uh, how their next season will be going, and how well they'll be doing. Now, uh, talking about where I would place these te this team, because when it comes down to it, like, um, do I think they'll be better than Atlanta? I think they'll be around the same level, and that's why I'm inclined to put them right in the middle with Atlanta. Now, do I want to put them above or below? I think at the moment I want to put Atlanta below them, just because um, I like Chengdu, Chengdu Hunter's um, roster more. There's more potential there, um, as well as the coaching staff. I think is a lot better than uh, Atlanta's. Um, yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you guys for coming and watching. If you liked um, like the video, make sure to like it and subscribe, all that stuff. Um, I'll be posting another one of these in, I think, every two days is what I've decided, just so I have time to put in some other stuff as well. New content will be coming out. I'm planning to um, put out my POV from the school matches that I play for one map a week, um, as well as I think I have some other content stuff in the works, and hopefully we'll get some of that out there. So yeah, thank you guys again.